हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ लोहित जिंदल आई टीच हेयर एट वेदांत ओलम्पी आर्ट स्कूल एंड आई एम वेलकम यू बैक इन द सेशन 23 ऑफ प्री आर एम ओ फ्लैश बैक इन विच वी आर कवरिंग द प्रीवियस ईयर प्री आर एम ओ क्वेश्चन ओके सो इन दिस ट्वेंटी थर्ड सेशन विल बी कवरिंग द नेक्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन दैट इज सेवेंथ एट्थ एंड नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन ऑफ प्री आर एम ओ टू ओके बच्चों सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम let's start with the solving of these three questions okay keep your notebooks and pens with you so that you will be solving alongside me okay all right so let's start let's see the seventh question of pre rmo 2019 okay to bachcho let's read the question first on a clock there are two instants between 12 noon and 1 pm when the hour hand and the minute hand are at right angles okay the difference in minutes between these two instants is written as a plus b by c where a b c are positive integers with b less than c and b by c in the reduced form okay so what is the value of a plus b plus c all right so bachcho let's first of all let me draw a clock first of all so that you get a better understanding so let's say this is the clock first of all so between 12 noon and 1 o'clock first of all when the minute hand starts i think first time the angle 90 will be of this sort let's say this is the hour hand and this is the minute hand i think something like this so this will be 90 right let's say it happens at after how much n1 minutes okay after the time n1 minutes have passed okay so this is 90 okay the second time let's say let me draw the second instant when the angle is 90 the second time is when this minute hand jab ye idhar aa jayega right from behind the hour hand okay so let me draw it also so something like this this is the hour hand and minute hand would be somewhere here so this time this will be 90 right so let's say this happens at n2 minutes n1 minutes and n2 minutes so let's find the n1 value and n2 value and then what we have to do is n1 minus n2 right n2 minus n1 sorry theek hai so bachcho let's start how to do this now first of all in 1 minute okay in 1 minute how much angle is covered by the minute hand see simple se find kar sakte hain in 60 minutes it covers 360 degrees right let me write so इसको कैलकुलेट करने के लिए लेट मी लीड दिस फर्स्ट आई कैन से फॉर द मिनट हैंड आई कैन से इन सिक्सटी मिनट्स इट रोटेट्स थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री एंगल्स सो इन वन मिनट इट मस्ट बी रोटेटिंग हाउ मच थ्री सिक्सटी बाई सिक्सटी दैट इज सिक्स डिग्रीज राइट इन वन मिनट नाउ कमिंग टू द आवर हैंड ठीक है, सो बच्चों इन हाउ मेनी मिनट्स इन ट्वेल्व आवर्स सो इन ट्वेल्व इंटू सिक्सटी मिनट इट कवर्स थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री राइट सो इन वन मिनट इट विल बी कवरिंग थ्री सिक्सटी अपॉन ट्वेल्व इंटू सिक्सटी ओके सो दिस विल कैंसिल सॉरी सिक्सटी विल कैंसिल इट विद सिक्स सो दिस विल गिव मी सिक्स बाय ट्वेल्व विल बी वन बाय टू so it it is covering 1 by 2 degrees in 1 minute okay so now let's find the value of n1 so n1 to find n1 i can say angle covered by the minute hand minus angle rotated by the hour hand will be 90 right so in n1 minutes the angle rotated by minute hand will be 6 n1 minus angle rotated by the hour hand will be Half n one is equal to ninety, right? So this will give me eleven n one by two equal to ninety degrees, which will give me n one as one eighty, one eighty by eleven, right? So that is my first value of n one. Now similarly, angle covered by minute hand in this case will be something like this. from here to here this is the actually angle covered by the minute hand in the second case from here to here okay our hand has covered this much so i can say 
this angle must be 270 degrees right so in this case i can write this in a similar way 6 n2 minus half n1 and this time this should be 270 degrees right so similarly 11 n2 upon 2 will be 270 and i'll get n2 equal to 540 upon 11 right so i have got two values of the values of n1 and n2 so we have to find n2 minus n1 right to get the form difference between the minutes so let's do it on the next slide n2 minus n1 difference will be 540 upon 11 minus 180 upon 11 right so which will come out to be how much i think 360 upon 11 so let's write it in the desired form that is a plus b by c format so let's divide it it will be 3 33 so 30 is 2 plus 8 by 11 so, so where b is less than c also so i think this is the required form and we can compare it with a plus b by c and but so how many value a plus b plus c so from this i can comparing i can say a is 32 B कितना आएगा? 8 and C will be 11. So what will be A plus B plus C? So 32 plus 8 plus 11. 32 plus 8 is 40 plus 11 will be 51. Right? So बच्चों the correct answer is 51 for this question. So I think simple था बच्चों. This is a word problem. Simply जो आप 8th, 9th class में भी करते हो. Right? So just the basic understanding about the difference of angles and how much angle is being covered by minute hand and the hour hand in one minute okay using that concept okay so i hope sabko clear hai bachcho ye question so let's move on to the next question theek hai let's see the next one okay this is an interesting one so eighth question so it says how many positive integers n are there such that 3 is less than equal to n is greater than equal to 3 okay and less than 100 okay such that x raised to power 2 raised to power n okay let me write like this x raised to power 2 raised to power n plus x plus 1 is divisible by x square plus x plus 1 but so now very important thing to understand that x square plus x plus 1 if i put it equal to 0 the roots of this equation are omega and omega square right from complex number you must be remembering this right cube roots of 1 right so a root omega hai iska and another one is omega square so if this expression does divide this expression if it is divisible by this then both of these value omega and omega square should satisfy this expression right usko satisfy karna chahiye so now let's put omega first of all let's put x equal to omega and let's check it'll come out to be omega power 2 power n plus omega plus 1 this is the value of the function. So, but chon, I want this to be equal to 0, right? If it is root, then it if it is divisible and it is root of this expression, the value should be 0. And I already knew this condition for this that omega plus omega square plus 1 is 0. This condition we already know. So, but chon, omega plus 1 to I rakh hai. So, what should be the values of n for which this term actually converts to omega square hai na? so now let's check some take some idea okay let's check let's say n is equal to starting from 3 right so let's put n equal to 3 so 2 cube will be 8 right so omega power 8 it has the cyclicity of 3 right because omega cube is 1 so 8 can be divided by 3 and the remainder will be 2 which means yes for n equal to 3 this term let me show you once okay so omega power 2 cube will be omega power 8 which will be omega power 6 plus 2 right so this will be equal to omega 6 power 6 will become 1 it will be left with omega square so that's why n equal to 3 will be satisfying it now guys every time there is a cyclicity for two powers right power of twos uski cyclicity hoti hai so 2 power 4 the next value will be 16 which will give me the remainder as 1 when i divided by 3 whereas i want the remainder to be 2 when i am dividing by 3 just like in this case hai na? so that will happen alternatively right so after 3 i'll get the next value as 5 
then 7 up to how much and can go up to 99 right so these are the values that satisfy the condition for x equal to omega i hope it's clear okay Kyuki when okay i'll tell you one more thing if you put n equal to 5 2 power 5 is 32 again when you divide it by 3 you get the remainder as 2 which will be converted to omega square i hope you're getting to understand this thing so achho, how many values from this case 3 to 99 odd values right so 49 values because if you would have started from 1 there will be total of 50 values but now 1 is not there so you are left with 49 values okay now let's check with the second root that is omega square if x is equal to omega square okay so omega square power 2 raised to power n plus omega square plus 1 equal to 0 chahiye aapko. now this time you want this expression to be equal to omega only right now let's check what is this expression actually omega power because this will get multiplied you will get 2 power n plus 1 plus omega square plus 1 equal to 0 so now but it has become very interesting because 2 power n now if you check for 3 it becomes 2 power 4 which is 16 right so yes n equal to 3 will be satisfying this expression right because when you divide 16 by 3 you get the remainder as 1 so this expression will be equivalent to omega only right let me write it also 2 power 16 will be equal to omega power 15 plus 1 which will give me as omega value now similarly if you put n equal to 4 this will become 5 so omega power 5 we have already discussed kya aega? 5 ke liye actually this term will become omega right so um, n ko if you put n equal to 4 it will become 2 power 5 32 which will give you this term as omega square which we don't want so 4 will not be included now i can put 5 here because for n equal to 5 this will become 2 power 6 right 2 power 6 is 64 and upon dividing by 3 you get the remainder as 1 which we want in this case so guys i hope aapko clear hai isi tarah se aage ke numbers milenge up to again 99 so again the number of values are 49 the same 49 values which we talked about earlier so bachcho yahan se dono ko satisfy kar rahe so how many positive integers of n are there 49 right to bachcho the answer will be right so let's see the answer on the next slide yes so the answer is 49 okay okay guys i hope sabko clear hai so take some time and think about it carefully okay okay bachcho so now let's see the last question that is the ninth question of priya remo 2019 last question of today's session not the priya remo okay so let's read the question let the rational number p by q be closest but not equal to 22 by 7 hai na uske pass wala sabse pass ka rational number find karna hai p by q nearest to 22 by 7 among all rational numbers with denominator less than 100 that is the condition otherwise to kuch bhi ho sakta tha we could not find actually right and in that case we have to find the value of p minus 3q so let's check let's subtract that number 22 by 7 minus p by q ko subtract kar dete. and then i can say i have to minimize this number right Mereko minimize karna hai is fraction ko difference ko right so let's write it kya aega? 22q minus 7p upon 7q so this fraction i have to minimize hai na? Chota si chota karna hai. that is the difference so difference to be minimum what would i want Ki numerator 1 ho jai for the largest denominator and numerist, numerator to be 1, right? My denominator ko largest rakhna chaunga because I want the difference to be the smallest one, right? Difference smallest karna hai. That is a fraction. Or fraction ko smallest kaise karun? I would say the denominator has to be the largest that I can use and the numerator to be smallest integer that I can put. That will be numerator should be 1 and denominator should be the largest that is possible. So, what's your P or Q ki maximum value? Kitni ho sakti is 99. With among rational numbers with denominator less than 900 that will be 99 so let's say for that let's say i want to maximize the denominator i would have to put q equal to 99 right which would maximize the denominator let me write also you know this would de definitely maximize the denominator and i would want for this q power q equal to 99 i would want 22q minus 7p to be equal to 1 right or it's, it's more basically right so let's check so 22 into 9 in 9 minus 7p equal to 1 let's check for the positive one i think that would be su sufficient enough 
So 7p is equal to 22 into 99 minus 1. So what will be that? 2200 minus 22. So 2178 minus 1. So 7p will be equal to 2177. So let's find p. When you divide it by 7, yes, it is completely divisible. It will give you 311. So p can be 311 with q as 99, right? So I have maximized the numerator denominator and numerator ko I have done minimized, right? This will minimize the numerator. So using these values, I can find the number closest to it, right? So what will be the fraction here? P by Q will be 311 upon 99, which will be closest to 22 by 7. So now I have to find P minus 3Q, that is, P is how much? 311 minus 3 times 99. So 311 minus 297. This will give me answer as 14. So what the answer to this question will be 14. I know this is a good question. I would say based on number theory and simply fractions. Ke mein sochna aana so let's check the answer on the next slide. Yes. So the answer is 14. But I hope aapko samajh mein aaya. you enjoyed this session. Okay. And again, I'll repeat. So if you guys are interested in mathematics, okay, and are enthusiastic about maths Olympiad, do join us and help us bring gold for India at International Maths Olympiad because we want that we teach those students who should have that aim, right? We want that India should give a gold medal at International Maths Olympiad, okay? All right, bachcho, that's all for today's session. We'll meet you in the next session, okay? Thank you, everyone. Take care and be careful, okay? And keep doing everything you like, okay? Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you all.